what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, man. We didn't have fun tonight, man. Me and the subs, man. I enjoyed like chopping it up with y'all, man. As far as Floyd the person go, man. Let's just put that to the side. I don't want to hear that tonight. You know, we'll talk about that in a couple of days. Let's enjoy this victory. So I don't want to hear none of that Floyd all I I don't want to hear that shit. We already know that. We're talking about Floyd the boxer tonight and only Floyd the boxer. Now, Floyd has said he isn't coming back. He says he swears this time he's done. But, you know, we've heard this before. I don't want to see Floyd come back. I want to enjoy, you know, the 50 fights he gave us. And I want to say something, man, to people, man. I hear a lot of shit about Floyd's punch bar. Floyd is not exciting and he can't knock people out. Well, he gave us everything we asked for. He want, we, he gave us a knockout. You know what I'm saying? All you motherfuckers that was talking all this shit about Floyd can't knock people out. And obviously Floyd got power. He wore those eight ounce gloves. So people really are full of shit when they be talking about Floyd's power and shit. Because obviously Floyd can get you up out of there. He got Conor McGregor up out of there. And people keep talking about the fight was premature. Like I keep saying, man, the fans know what they saw. Conor McGregor was two fucking punches away from going through the ring. Let me tell you something. You know what that would have did for MMA? That would have killed MMA if they would have seen Conor McGregor suffer a Bernard Hopkins-like uh, fate. So that's why... You know, whatever his name is, the dude that looked like that uh, promoter from uh, Rocky, what was that, Rocky 5, I think? You know, touch me and I'll sue. That dude. I think that was Rocky 5. Yeah, that was Rocky 5, that dude. Yeah, he looked like that dude. What's his name, Bird? He looked just like that dude. Touch me and I'll sue. But um, anyway, the dude stopped the fight, man, because Ashley Conor McGregor almost took a knee. When Floyd started tagging his ass. So, I mean, when I hear people say that bullshit, it, it mostly only white people say that shit. White people in Mexicans say that bullshit that Floyd can't get people out of there. He don't have any knockouts and all that. He can't knock people out. Well, he knocked Conor McGregor out. Got his ass up out of there. Like he was supposed to do. So, at the end of the day, man, um... I'm just going to enjoy this this victory, man. Bass in it and, and have fun, man. We all having fun tonight. We celebrate, man. Because at the end of the day, man, it was a victory for us. You know, Floyd got the job done, man. He toyed with that dude. He toyed with that boy. You know, I just do not like no white person calling me no boy. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck whether in Ireland they call everybody boy. You in motherfucking America. Don't call me no boy, motherfucker. But I'm in. I'm enjoying this shit, man. I'm, I've been smiling all day, man. I I haven't. I, I mean, I got that cheesy grin that Judd Nelson had on New Jack City when uh, Nino Brown got shot. Shit, I had that type of grin. You know, oh, the rush by your soul is recorded again. So you know, I'm I'm enjoying this shit. Let's just all enjoy this victory, man. You know what I'm saying? We already know they're going to be thousands on top of thousands complaining videos about all oh, this fight was a joke and all this type of shit. And, but at the end of the day, man, we're going to be bulletproof tonight, man. Nothing can get through to us, man. Straight up, man. The shit was funny. So at the end of the day, man, let's, let's rub it in, man. For real. Anybody that got something to say about the shit, let's rub it in, man. 50 and 0, man. I'm out.